टुडे आई विल स्पीक ऑन गॉथिक नॉवेल अमेरिकन गॉथिक इज इंटेंसली प्रियोकुपैड विद द पैथोलॉजी ऑफ गिल्ट पर हैव्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लिंक बिटवीन द थ्री प्रिंसिपल अर्ली प्रोटैगोनिस्ट चार्ल्स ब्राउन नेथेनियल हॉथॉर्न एंड एडगर एलन पो अमेरिकन्स कनेक्ट इमोशनली विद द हिस्टोरिकल रीइंटरप्रिटेशंस ऑफ द इंग्लिश राइटर्स पोस कंट्रीब्यूशन टू गॉथिक इज इनॉर्मस एंड वैरिड द स्टोरी ऑफ द स्प्लिट पर्सनालिटी which produced Stevenson's Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde is pre figures in William Wilson the development of the detective thriller from Godwin to Conan Doyle and others has his most important manifestation in the murder in the rue morgue and the gold bug it could be said that poe writes of american obsession provided we escape that the major american obsession is europe in brown hawthorn and poe evil has in one sense or another to do with the european byron villains generally come out of the old world the guilt which hunts hawthorn's characters is associated with infection by european intolerance poe creates an artificial version of an european stance in all three cases as a weighty impediment in the path of progress but of course the attributes of three writers towards this are radically different for brown it is a problem to be dealt with rationally in the process of social development for hawthorn a continuing stain on american society for poe evidence of a metaphor for the fundamental irony in human striving a vocabulary in which to express the persistence of inadmissible desire for hawthorn romance was that pensive influence over the mind which follows from brooding upon hoar antiquity of which may be created by throwing a subdued tinge of the wild and wonderful over the homely aspects of familiar things hawthorne defines a connection between the sense of wonder or terror and the sense of history a connection that takes us back to dissimilar definitions of the imagination made by the coleridge and wordsworth american gothic seems to be refraction of english gothic in that it can only attempt to transplant the english themes into american soil in england in that mid century however it is not principally through the short story but the history of gothic can best be pursued but through the extended narrative and particularly victorians of forms the sensations novels what is good in the best horror films from hammer to psycho is their ability to use images of terror to provoke powerful tensions between different interpretations that is a process which the exorcist sets out to be short circuit from the first moments we are left in no doubt whatever as to the reality of the little girl's possession the audience is thus reduced to a nadir of passivity it is highly significant that one of the most appealing and horrifying scenes occur when an attempt is made at medical treatment of a girl's condition for what this demonstrates is that the films makers were drawing throughout upon a singly language and a singly level of intensity with complete disregard of the film's narrative or thematic cohesive the revenge tragedy as its name implies in a tragic play in which the tragedy results from the revenge that is taken from some wrong or wrongs either by the person wronged himself or by someone else on his behalf this kind of tragedy had its beginning in ancient greece in the tragedies of sophocles and euripides however in the tragedies there was nothing of that horror element which soon came to be associated with the revenge plays and which is marked feature of the elizabethan revenge tragedy in the gothic novel an emphasis was put on portraying the terrifying a common insistence on archaic settings a prominent use of the supernatural the presence of highly stereotyped characters and the attempt to deploy and perfect technique of literary suspense are the most significant used in this sense gothic fiction is the fiction of the haunted castle of heroines preyed on by unspeakable terrors of villains of ghosts vampires and monsters so we come to the end of today's lecture that is on gothic novels and as i have said earlier also that this is a sort of dark novel you can say and uh, where the novelists go deeper into the dark psyche of a man and at the same time they create a horrifying situation by symbolizing with the castles monsters villains and all the dark 
periods so what we understand is that gothic period is very important gothic novels is very haunting at the same time and it has greatly influenced cinema as well in cinema also you will see that uh, the filmmakers they have used gothic interpretations and they have taken quite a lot of note from gothic literature and gothic has put influence on architect as well we call gothic architecture and dodic architecture so this is a very important uh, phase in english literature and very fine period in english literature where they discuss about the dark society the dark psyche of mankind where we face so many demons in our life thank you